Well, this is the last look here. It's about the, uh, I think, 14th of August. And this is the last time you're going to see these windows. These are a Marvin Integrity window. More of just a contractor grade. Every winter they're leaking here. They've been leaking for years. A few of the strings in here have snapped. We've gone through a small F1 tornado and a massive hailstorm in the last two years. And there's some damage on them. Um, and we need to get them replaced. So um, this will be the last time you see them. There are four big windows like this. Um, one in each bedroom upstairs of the three bedrooms. One in the master and one in the dining room. And then that one. So, oh, what am I saying? That isn't four. Um, that's six of those. We got this big slider going. All these little windows here. And then the uh, kitchen and laundry room windows. Not doing the basement and stuff, but just getting ones out that are damaged. So hopefully this repair goes smooth. We're starting to clear plants away from windows, um, get things moved away. Um, we gotta get blinds and drapes down. These all have a nice hidden blind in them that is gonna be savable. So we're gonna save all that, but these won't go back up. The, the outside pieces won't go back up at all. So we'll be in good shape once we get this down. Uh, kind of follow with me and we'll get this room taken apart. So they come down with just a couple clips. The blinds, they'll need some cleanup. These are nice, uh, what they call them, Levor? I don't know how they pronounce that word. The clips, I'll have to unscrew up there and get them down. But I think all this will be reusable, so we'll just clean this up and, and get this stuff labeled and going. And there's the start of the project. First one's down. A little bit of paint. A little bit of spackle, and we'll be on this. That's what the rest of the day is going to look like. All right, we got all the drapes and stuff down in the sunroom. Kind of staging these blinds here because we're going to clean them and reuse them. Kind of save money where you can on a window job. And the windows we're going to be replacing these with, they got a special glass in them so it'll help the sunlight not come through in the uh, UV fashion so we're hopeful it's gonna work out really well guys makes the room feel a lot bigger that's for sure and we won't be putting back up the top drapes because we're gonna do wood on wood so the blinds will match right in so that'll be nice it'll be white window frames still though because it's a white farmhouse take out the old paint here and touch up the spots on the wall Okay, so we left a few holes up here from where the drapes came down, and she's just got to lightly touch that up. And then this room will be set for new windows. And then the old blinds coming back in on a wood-on-wood -wood casing with a white window. So here we are on the outside. We're just kind of flying through things. The uh, Anderson window crew is here now, guys. And they are just doing a fantastic job of taking things apart. And why am I watching? Oh, well, I'm actually trying to see how bad these uh, contract builder grade windows come out and if we've got any mold. And so far, thankfully, we had it uh, stripped out and done well enough that we didn't have any. So as you can see, it's just kind of a take apart the old one by sawzalling it out. Then they clean up all the dust and debris. Um, and then we re-tape down a nice piece of... Yeah, I would call it, you know, in this case, it's 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 like a waterproof plastic. But um, in the past, it was more like almost like a tar paper we put down. But this time, it's a more specialized product. And then they shimmed up the window. Now, we have five of these windows that are the exact same, so it made it easy for them. Um, in our code, we got to put a drip edge back in, even though we have a drip edge around the window on the outside. So they use this uh, Anderson sealant. And by gosh, these things are better sealed now than what the original contractor grade was. So as they put the drip edge in, it's sealed underneath it, and then it's tacked down, and it makes a nice opening to set the window into. Then when the window comes in, they're setting it down on more sealant, um, and then they're um, basically shimming it up. And once they've got it shimmed up, they're going to put more sealant in around it, and then they finish foaming it um, with the finished wood product. 
It's it's fantastic. I mean, I, I'm so pleased. I don't, I don't know why I'd want to put the builder grade windows back in when these go in so nice. So we're going to repeat with oak trim on the inside. And these guys um, do such a nice job of finishing it out that when they're done, it just looks like brand new oak. Um, and of course, then we're going to get it, you know, custom matched, um, stained in. This is a huge project for us, folks. Um, the old windows are pushing up to 20 years old. Not quite, but just shy of it. And these new windows, um, hopefully they'll last my lifetime. And uh, they'll, they'll serve the purpose and, and work really well for us, better than, than the original ones that we had a while back. I'm very pleased with the install. I'm very pleased with the construction. Like even this, that when they're putting this um, uh, trim edge up, they've put like a tape down underneath it, and they've let the tape extend past so that when the custom stainer comes in, he can run the edge and not have so much cleanup and not be damaging my walls. Look at this. This is just really nice. It, it's fantastic work. It took them several days to get this done, and it took a lot of our hard-earned hard cash on the farm. To be quite honest, um, it's a good chunk of my retirement money that went into this. But if your house isn't good, I don't know what to say. These are the old frames. We're going to take them apart and use what we can, save some of the, the, the fibrous material that can be used for something around the farm, and then, you know, we'll go from there. So right now, the um, upstairs ones are done in this picture, and the downstairs ones are not done. I just kind of wanted to show you kind of a halfway through the process there so you can kind of tell the difference. And again, this is what we started with. They've got kind of, a, like I said, a fibrous board, you know, casement. And then this is what we finish with, this beautiful oak inside and out. Oh, it's just, it's so nice to finally have windows that we love. Um, when we first built the farmhouse, we, we just didn't have the finances, folks, to do it. So we had to put the builder grade in, and we just had to get away with it. But these are just so nice. I'm just really impressed with how they went in. I'm glad how they seal. They're so much quieter, and hopefully they're going to be very energy efficient for us, especially when we get up in the high winds. This is the little bathroom window. They all got done in the upstairs, too. We didn't do the basement windows somewhat because of financial concern and also because those windows are casement windows that are holding up for us. These other windows that are up taking the beating, they're just not holding in there. So again, these are nice, big, beautiful windows. And I gotta give my kudos out to the crew. They did a nice job. And then in comes the custom stainer, um, contracted through them again. What a nice job. He matched our stain really well. We had him do just a hair darker because light does affect it over time. And then when he got done with that, I had to go back to work. Yep, that's me back in the pictures. So they basically took three days to get the windows in, and then, you know, two days to get it stained and varnished up, and then I have to come back and measure in and put back the draperies um, in the kids' bedrooms and in the dining room, and then in the sunroom, I have to put back the three... Uh, or four um, shades that we wanted to put back in place and make it look nice again. And it takes a little bit of effort to get things lined up and get them in. It comes with those little clips that I showed you when I took them off. But I tell you, it, it, this is well worth it. Um, I, I'm blessed to have to say that I was able to, to use our hard-earned savings and, and, and we don't have a, a bill on these. Um, but it, it took us years. Matter of fact, you know, we, we put the builder grade windows in and I think it was by 2009, um, they hadn't been in very long, um, maybe just a couple years, uh, we were already disliking them. We got our first estimates on replacing those windows in 2000, I think 11 or 12, and it just, it wasn't in the cards, but the one thing we did is we said, look, we're going to save, we're going to save every month until we can. Well, you know, 12 years later, we finally saved up enough to be able to afford to do it. It's really the way to do it, I think, folks. That way you don't have a loan, you don't have a debt, you just you worked hard to get there. Now, as I put these in, you're going to see a few wrinkles, but typically that comes out once the hot sun bakes them and stuff. My beautiful dining room is put back together here. I got the shade, the sheer, I guess, back up. I got the um, new windows in. They look gorgeous. Oh, Anderson did a nice job. And then the original drapes over the top. It looks really, really, really nice. 
I just, I absolutely love it. And then I'm going to show you here, here's how the um, sunroom finished. And again, we're not putting the valence bars on top because now I've got the beautiful oak to show off as casement, and I love it. And then you go in here into the family room, that great big shade there, what a beast. But again, it looks very nice. Everything operates well. It's nice and smooth to lift them up. And when you lift them up, you get this beautiful view. You'll notice that I don't have screens on these. These are the windows that we don't typically open, which means that I have an unobstructed, very, very clear view. And here's a view from the outside, folks. You gotta love it. As I walk up here closer and try to show it off, you know, I miss the line of, of the cross, if, if you want to call it that, in the windows from when we had the, um, the double hung. But I will not miss the high winds out here blowing through those and causing leakage. Thanks for watching, folks. This was a heck of a project for us on the farm. We appreciate you lot watching, liking, and subscribing as we continue along in our life on the farm.